having to do some fence repair. Young horse ran into the fence. You can see where her tracks are all the way outside the wire. And it bent this T-post over. And we're having to undo the wire all the way down to the next wooden post. And Anthony's none too happy. So we're going to be using this new fence stretcher tool. It was something we've been wanting for a while, but didn't know we we're going to be needing it so soon. And not only did she hit the fence once, she hit it twice on the other side of the pasture. That's how much stretch was in the wire. So I think we can get it fastened down and get that cut and spliced. Okay, Anthony got enough tail on the barbed wire so we could get our ferrules on there. And he had to remove some of the barbs just so we'd have enough to work with. If you've never had to do this before, the barbed wire has two strands, but you only want it to go in one side. You want both the strands to go in one side of the ferrule. So it can be a little bit of a challenge. Right, we got both of them in place. We're fixing to crimp them. You can use one. We just use two just for added strength. Show y'all some of the tools we're using. Uh, these are based on the gauge of wire uh, that you have. And then it comes, it's labeled as a sleeve size. And whatever that sleeve size is, you get your crimpers and you use that uh, hole on your crimpers. So if you're not familiar with that, that's kind of how that, all that works. And we got these fancy little wire cutters that make it a lot easier than the needle nose.
we got it crimped. He's just gonna release the wire stretcher. See how tight it still holds? Oh, just like that, did pretty good. We still got one strand to go. recap on the fencing situation here we undid all the metal straps from the t-post so we could uh, be able to tighten up that wire without any restriction we use our fence stretching tool right here pulled all the slack out cut the wire put two ferrules on it crimped it down and restrapped the wire back to the t-post and it looks like brand new so hopefully she'll stay out of the wire and I think it looks good. I think the tool worked good. What do you think about the tool? Good. What do you think about the horse hitting the fence? Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. So that's it for today. We are heading out. It's currently upper 90s and heat index was 110. So we're done and the horse better stay out the fence. <laughs>